Hi, my name is Dr. Amir, and I would like to welcome you to my medical education program. Every time, I'm going to talk to you about a different subject. Today's subject is about influenza, because now is the season for influenza. Recently, a patient of mine came to my Dubai practice telling me, doctor, I have the flu. I said, What's, what are your symptoms? He said, I have a sore throat and a runny nose. I said, do you have a fever? He said, no. I said, sorry, you don't have the influenza. This is what we call the common cold or upper respiratory infection. So the symptoms of upper respiratory infection is have a sore throat, stuffy nose or runny nose, sometimes sneezing or watery eyes, but there is no fever. On the other hand, influenza has high fever. Sometimes the temperature goes between 38 to 40. You have the chills, your body is shivering. Also, you have a body ache. Sometimes you're hurting so bad you cannot get out of bed. Also, you might complaining of a bad headache. Even sometimes the patient said the, the headache is behind my eyes. Also, you might have a cough, mostly dry cough, and you might have a sore throat. You might have also a runny nose. Both conditions are caused by a virus. However, the virus which cause influenza sometimes could be very dangerous. But remember, antibiotic does not kill virus. So please, don't go ahead and take antibiotic on your own. Now, we said it's dangerous in certain population. Influenza is dangerous in children under five years old. Also dangerous in elderly people, over, especially over 65. Also pregnant women or any patient who have a chronic medical conditions like asthma or heart failure or like um, uh, kidney disease. You might have heard about the epidemic of influenza which happened in 1918 during the war world one. Over 500 million got affected by influenza worldwide and almost 25 million of people died during that epidemic. So that's why it's a serious disease. Fortunately, we have now vaccine for influenza. During that period, it was not available. Now, let me tell you how can influenza get spread. You might catch influenza from a patient who is coughing and sneezing in front of you without covering his mouth and nose. And this is likely to happen in a populated area like school or work or public transportation. So the most important things is to prevent it by doing the usual hygiene by preventing spreading the disease. If you happen to catch influenza, the best treatment is start from the basic. First, you need to rest, get a plenty of rest, and then you need to drink a lot of fluid. You can drink water, juice, take vitamin C, or even soup. But most importantly, we need to treat the fever. Normally, I recommend to my patient to take paracetamol and ibuprofen. And it's better to alternate it either one every four to six hours. This is, will control the fever and you will feel better when your temperature is down. Sometimes when the influenza is very serious, we might give you a medication called antiviral medication, which is shorten the symptoms of influenza. But we do not give you antibiotic. The only reason to give you antibiotic when the influenza get complicated by a condition called pneumonia. Pneumonia is infection of your lung. Normally, your symptom is getting worse and it is a very serious complication, which might require being admitted to the hospital, which is a very serious condition. One of the important factors of treating influenza is prevention. As you know, prevention is the best medicine. So if you happen to have the flu, please, don't go to work or to school and spreading the disease. Luckily, we live in an era we have influenza vaccine. But there is a lot of misconception about the vaccine. A lot of my patients are afraid of taking the vaccine. Normally, we give the influenza vaccine in the winter season. 
In the Northern Hemisphere, in our area, we take it between September and April. It is indicated for people who are at risk of influenza. As I mentioned earlier, it is recommended for children under five or elderly people and even pregnant women or even patients with chronic medical condition. One of the side effects of the vaccine, you might have soreness on your arm at the site of the injection. And also you might get redness in the area. And you might be having a little bit of achy and you might have low grade fever, but this is not the flu. It's a reaction from your immune response to the vaccine. So please be, do not be afraid of the vaccination. I normally take it and give it to my wife and family every year. So it's very safe. That's all I want to talk about today. I hope I shared with you good information about influenza. Until I see you next time, I would like to wish you a happy, healthy life.